Hello, it's Sarah. Oh, guys, I've been wanting to make this video for weeks. Anyway, um, I'm doing macrame. I just wanted to share what I figured out so far. Um, and let's get started. So it all started at Walmart. I was at Walmart. I came across this kit. It's called Zembroidery, The Art of Creative Knotting. And it's by Design Works, and they have an online store as well because you can find others there. Anywho, um, I, I did it, um, and I would recommend it. The directions are awesome. They're really clear for a beginner. I'd never really, I mean, I think I remember making keychains when I was a kid, but I, I don't remember remember. You know what I mean? Like, I vaguely remember. Anywho, so yeah, so you get nice directions with pretty clear uh, diagrams as well for how to make the knots. Um, now that we have YouTube though, it's it's crazy because, but I still feel really comfortable with written out directions and I'll tell you why in a minute, okay? But, so I did it, I created this. You, you get this yarn, um, not yarn, rope. And I think it's, it's just a twisted rope. There's different types of ropes. A lot of them have three sections to them. And you'll see that. Like here's a scrap. So see when you untwist it, there's three sections here. And then you can untwist it further and you, you get an even better like tassely free look. Um, but this one is kind of just one one there's no sections it's just one twisted bunch of it's not yarn though it's definitely string anywho I liked it because it was white and I wanted to put this in my bathroom because we just redid our master bath and have white furniture in there and I just and the I never made the tassels because I just those weren't my colors I was figuring I was going to change that and the beads that it comes with I have those I just took them all out and put them in a separate baggy because they're, they're wooden beads and I'm sure you could paint these to be whatever color so anyway enough about this but there's different twine it comes with everything you need to make your macrame hanging and here's the one I made and I took it off the rod and everything because I'm not going to use it but I just wanted to have it as a reference because I ended up uh, burning this end of the rope like I was just deciding what I liked and didn't like about it because I knotted these um, you add in rope to make these uh, they're called half hitch knots anyway to make these lines and I didn't like them dangling off anyway so I wasn't in love with it so I decided to just get some different rope so I went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and I bought this Bonnie craft cord which I do not recommend and I will show you a piece that I made with this but this is definitely um, it's a poly let's see if it says exactly what it's made out of poly olefin fibers pop poly olefin it looks like it's heat fusible I mean you can definitely do macrame with it and I did but it's just not it's it's feels plasticky and it's a little rougher and it doesn't fray I feel like I'm talking so loud. I'm sorry. So yeah, so it's different. It's a different fiber, and I just don't love it. But that being said, I'm glad I tried it, and I could share that with you. But you can absolutely use... I'm going to give this to my husband because I won't be making macrame with it anymore um, because it's just a good rope if you need it for something else. Um, okay, then from there, I actually found this at Michael's. I am talking so loud, my God. This is called Cording, and it's by Bead Landing. It's in the bead section. This happens to be five millimeter, and I feel like this is too big for me. I won't be buying five millimeter anymore. I'm a fan of the three and four millimeter. Those are the two that I'm going to continue to use. Um, but the five was just too big. They just didn't have any of the smaller one. It was empty, so I didn't get it. And um, I brought it home. I'm going to return this one because I probably I won't use it. 
Um, and it was, I think, around seven bucks. I think they were ten dollars. So I've spent around a hundred dollars so far, and I need to stop. I'm gonna stop. I want to make a plant hanger. I might make a couple plant hangers because I did just get some um, cord on Amazon. Seventeen dollars, though. I'll show you. Um, so I am gonna return this. This was seven ninety nine. It says. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I'm gonna return that. And because I won't be using it, I'm going to, I'll show you, like this is actually, I just cut some of it and this is what I made and it's so thick. So look at this. This is a five millimeter cord. Um, do I have anything in the four millimeter right near me? I think this is the four millimeter and this is the three. So I'll put these next to each other and you can kind of see. So, I mean, this is the size of this rope right here. Five, I, I want to say four, and then this is three. Yeah, so you can absolutely tell the difference. Um, and if you were making a large wall hanging, I mean, these knots would probably be fine. Uh, and I don't have that in my in my near future right now, so I am not going to be working with this. So I figured I'd just return it, and if something comes up in the future, um, also this is kind of a lot more beigey. This is more cream. This is the white. This is I just this is the white that it's the same as this. I just used the extra to make this. Um, so for right now. I'm liking the stuff that I found on Amazon. Uh, so that's a thing. I mean, they, they did have this at Michael's, like I said. Um, this is all I have of the 5 millimeter. <clears throat> so see, when you unwind it, you get three. And it looks kind of cute when you fray it if it's just curly like that. Like they hang curly like that. Or you can really fray them out and comb them out and make it uh, really fluffy. Okay, so <clears throat> the next thing I did, because that wasn't working for me, I ended up getting this next. This is from Amazon. It's 109 yards of natural macrame cord, and I want to say it's 3 millimeter. I don't know why I don't see that on here. Anywho, this is the three millimeter and that's what I made these keychains with oh I also bought beads wooden beads on Amazon these are huge these have a huge hole so I need something in between this hole and this hole that would be perfect for a three or four um, so so like this I did with a four millimeter bead and it I mean four millimeter yarn and it's a huge hole I mean it, it's still it does the trick but I just don't think I needed it that big. Like, let's see, this one was done with that blue that came in that, I guess, maybe Michael's has wooden beads. I'll have to have a look. I didn't really look for beads, I forgot, I think, because I found these at Hobby Lobby. These are actually the end bits for the dowel. So I made a big one, but you can just finish off your piece with that. So I just wanted, I made a gift for my niece. That was kind of what I was aiming towards. I wanted to make something. She's having a baby girl in May. And I wanted to make something for her. And so I kind of, that's what brought me to all these different things. Um, all right. So let's see. The dowels you can get at Michael's and, um, and Hobby Lobby. No problem. They have tons of different ones. I think I got like a six pack of this size. And I have a much thicker one somewhere, too. But that's it. And I've been just cutting them down. And this one actually came with um, this rope, a pack of wooden rings, which I'm going to make a, a plant hanger. I'll probably make, I need, I don't know. I, I'm going to make some plant hangers. They're super basic. Maybe I'll do a tutorial. But I'll tell you about the tutorials. And then this came with these dowels. So two I want to say 10 inch, oh, 8 inch ones and two 6 inch ones. So I'll use those. And I don't think it came with the beads. No, it just came with the rope and this. And I want to say it was probably like under 20 bucks or 20 bucks. 
So that's the three millimeter cord and I'm gonna buy a big one of those, which is this. So I ended up getting this. This is a four millimeter and it was $17. So I think that's super good deal. I've already used up one of these and I just bought two more because I wanna keep playing um, and we'll see when I, you know, when I decide I've had enough. But I wanna make my plant hangers with these. Um, and I think I, I made another gift. All right, I'll show you. So this came with this. It's a little macrame book, and there's only one um, tutorial in here, but there's also just directions on how to make the knots, all the different knots. So, because I don't, I haven't memorized them. Um, overhand knot, half hitch knot, horizontal double half hitch, I haven't tried that one yet, and the diagonal double half hitch. I've probably done that. Oh, I think I've done that. I've done them. Reverse Lark's Head, Wrap Knot, Square Knot, Square Knot, Pico Design. I think that is this one. No, this one. It might be this one. And this was a tutorial that I did on um, from YouTube. So I've only done this once. And I was trying to do it with the 5 millimeter, So you can see the difference in that. As big as this is. Um, but it's just too bulky. It's too big to work with. I don't. I just don't like the. This is the one from um, Michaels. Anywho, so this has all the different knots in it, and at the end, you get a tutorial to make this one. And I did do it. Not in the peach, just in the um, creamy color. So this whole thing I made, and I'll show you. I'm going to take my camera down, and I'll show you what I've made. So um, I followed it exactly, and I, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. But I, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to go out today and just go to BAM. BAM is Books a Million. It's like a, whatever, one of those, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Mm. Like a bookstore. I can't think of the name of the big bookstore. Anyway, they've got to have a macrame um, little workbook. You know what I mean? So this has... Uh, Mounting techniques, wrapping a ring, so that's cool. I haven't, I didn't read the whole thing. Fraying, braiding, which they call plaiting, numbering cords, which I did do. Lacing up, oh, that's cool, so you can connect things. And then this, these are the directions for the wall hanging. It tells you all your supplies, and then it's just a lot of steps, and I got through it. So that was a handy extra bonus. What else did I want to show you? Okay, so my favorite girl on YouTube is Emily Faith. And just because she does her videos live, like they're not set to music, they're real time. I mean, she, she speeds up a few things, but not um, too much. And um, she did this tutorial on macro weaving, which I'm going to show you. Um, and that's what I made for Rachel. So when I saw that, it caught my eye, and I wanted to make that for Rach. This is the classic, I don't know what they call it, but you just make the top part of a square knot and just keep making it, and it starts to spin. Um, and then I did this one by a tutorial, too. Um, I like Zig Macrame. She has a great keychain um, tutorial. Um, anywho... So I kind of have a little setup at my desk where I put um, hooks on my drawers here so I can just sit here and hang small things. Like I can just hang this right on my drawer and then macrame down. So that was handy. A lot of people have um, clothing wardrobe hanging things, but I just ended up going to Target and getting an over-the-door hanger, and I'll show you that. I just want to see if there's anything else on my desk that I wanted to share before I flip the camera around, but I think that's it. So um, I did end up purchasing one more thing. I'll show you that. This is the only accent color in my bathroom is lavender. I, and it's basically, I have planters, they're fake planters with fake lavender in them. I have like two of them. 
also I bought this which I haven't used which is such a beautiful color I love it and then this is the white I wanted to get some more white because in the bathroom I specifically want it to be um, a white wall I want it to be white so I'll show you what I made um, all right I'll be right back okay so this is the first tutorial I did of the macro weave let me see if I can come in a little bit I am doing it I'm just hanging it on a door I don't want to go too okay but this is made with the Bonnie cord that I talked about because I saw a tutorial with the weaving let's see I want to go there we go and that was all they had well I went to Hobby Lobby and this is a four millimeter I think um, the Bonnie cord that I'm not going to use anymore and I got this on clearance it was like a dollar sixty four it's like a really fat yarn this was some of oh my god my dogs are so annoying you're not um, <laughs> this is some of the um, the original white that I got in the kit from Walmart and then I bought this yarn which it's like a purpley gray which I really liked and I just kind of followed who her tutorial and did my own thing. But because it doesn't fray, I ended up making these little swirlies at the bottom to make it look like fringe. So it's for a first attempt with not a good cord, I'm pretty happy with it. So I like that. Kirby, take a hike. Go get a bone. All right. Then this is the next big piece I made that was a tutorial that I did from the book, the macrame book that came with this yarn. Now I don't know if we're going to get be able to, I'm going to zoom back out. I'm not used to using my camera like this. So that gives you a pretty full um, idea of, it's pretty big, so if I stand by it, so it's like, you know, I think it's around 18 inches at least. And so this one's a little better. I mean, this is a little wonky. You know, this line, these are called the double half hitch or whatever. So you just, I, I added in a, a string for this and just wrap it around to make that line. And that's what I'm trying to figure out about the design is to make it look, again, this is just like anything. When I do it myself, I think I beat myself up so much. So right now, I think I want to follow patterns or designs that help me help my eye understand what I want to see this was something I'll probably I haven't repeated this again so I couldn't tell you how I did it but it turned out pretty cool I mean this was in the directions um, I mean like this overlaps a little it could probably be better so I'm sure every time I do it, it it's going to get better um, and that's gifted to someone I'm going to give this to Monica for her yoga room and then I did this one. And this one is for Rachel. She's having a baby girl in May. And um, I wanted to do the macro weave again with pink and gray are her baby colors. But the one thing, and now I designed this myself. Like it's not designed. You guys, OMG, I swear, I swear so annoying because I'm trying to I wanted to make this video for so long and then I'm gonna I'm gonna stop them because it's gonna really irritate all right I had to separate them all right so this is actually gray so I bought this this is um, kind of like a velour feeling it's so cool these are those big beads that I used and then this is a, a pink it's like a baby yarn I guess these are both considered yarn and not string. So I really love this. I added in my strings to make that and then I left them frayed on the ends, which I, well, I don't mind. I did this, which I love, but then I think I should have put this part up here and just finished off with that and been done. But like putting these two next to each other, for some reason like or I should have moved this over so it's just design wise and what my eye sees as I don't know and then look at the uh, this is how you 
I frayed it with just doing the um, the three string technique, like just unwinding it and making it be three. So I like that. And I, I mean, my son is my little. <laughs> I put. I don't know. It's still driving me crazy. So I think I may make another one. Which the weaving part is the only thing that can drive you a little crazy because you just basically go in and out, in and out, in and out, and it's just fudgy. It's just annoying when you, you know, you have to, you know, but I think I'll make her another one because I bought, I just bought all that four millimeter um, right here. This, I have all this. <laughs> so I can definitely make another one. We're going to Florida in at like two weeks, so for her baby shower, so I'll, I can have it um, ready for her then. So, but I do like it, but I think that would make it more perfect for me. And the other thing was, when you weave these, it's supposed to make it look like a braid. So can you see that, how it's like, looks like a braid? It's hard to see, this is the back. And for some reason when I did it, the front didn't look like a braid. Like I must have been doing it backwards. You know what I mean? And like I realized it but when I turned it around because this is would look better on the front. Anyway, not necessarily. I think it looks pretty good this way too. So, all right, so then I made that one. And then I think that's basically it. These, this is the one I'd like to hang in my bathroom. I'm still working on my bathroom one. And then when I got my beads, I just made this one. But I want to, sh but I'll show you. See how I'm going to zoom in on it because it's just going to be easier for me to tell you what I'm trying to say. If I zoom in, so right in the middle, you can tell that it's not straight. And this is the thing. Like I think I'm a beginner. I've been doing this maybe two weeks. I think this part looks okay. It's kind of in the middle. Actually, this is the front. <laughs> the front, you can tell the front because these lines are more pronounced. They're wrapped over. This is the back of those. So anyway, this looks good. Like it looks like I might I grabbed the right ropes here. But since doing my keychains, I've also learned a lot from the keychains. Um, so but this doesn't, it goes crooked. Like for some reason, it's over here and then it goes over to here. So something's going on. And the other thing is I didn't add in a rope. I just used one of the ropes from the end to tie up. But anyway, I do, like this is my own design and I really just wanted to use the beads. And it's, it's cute, it's small. So see, isn't that cute? But then this one, I really got crazy. Let me show you what I did here. This is the one I want to, I have this space in my bathroom that I want to fill and I just want it to be short. So that's why when I saw that kit, I was like, perfect. You know, I thought it would be perfect, but um, okay. So let's see if I can, it's not really showing up that great on camera. Um, so I, knew that I wanted to have these in it, the spirally things. Separated that out and made this, this brand new design. And I was, I wanted to weave in that purple cord, which I never did. So this is the section that you would do your weaving. So you would just go over, under, over, under. Any sections like that, you could weave cord into or yarn or whatever. Um, so this is pretty similar to the kit, to the kit instructions. This I thought was really cool. So this is like, I don't even know what you would call these. They're not square knots because I used, I don't know, I, I joined them. But see, then it gets wonky here. So like this cord, these two, I think should be joined right here somehow. Look, I'm a beginner. Anyway, but I liked how I put this in the middle of that. Let's see if it's, yeah. And then these I really love. This is a pattern that I did from the macrame, um, from the uh, keychains. So I like that. But and then stop, ah, Kirby. And then this is just braiding. Like I just literally had three strings left here, so I just braided them. So this is coming apart. <laughs> I'm not keeping it. 
um, I'm going to tweak it. And like it just has to do with balance and the way my eye sees it. Um, I don't know. Like I, do I really want weaving sections? Am I going to weave this kind of, I don't know. I think I like these better than this. I don't know. So anywho, I'm um, going to go back in the craft room and I'll be right back. If I can find my buttons. <laughs> I can't. Actually, you can really see the design nicely on my desk, but I just didn't think they would fit. So this right here, I'm pretty sure is this. I just had longer strings. Actually, it's similar, but it's not the same. It's just using square knots. And then this pattern is what I was talking about. Like I like how it has, it looks lacy on the ends and then it's straight. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one, but um, these keychains are pretty cool. I'm going to put in the description box just a basic, a link to a couple of these basic um, keychains like this one. This is super easy, guys. All you need is two pieces of, le two lengths of string. I'm not going to do tutorials because you there's tons of them on um, YouTube already. Um, and so... That's it. All right, so that's what I've been up to. Um, post what you guys have been up to on my Facebook. I love seeing what you create. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.